beautiful day here in late November, week of Thanksgiving. Got a little time off, so I'm gonna take care of a, a little eight frame uh, box that uh, really needs some TLC, get it ready for next year. I'm just gonna grab it, and uh, I started noticing all the paint was coming off this side, all flaked up and looking bad. Just really needs to be taken care of, so that's what we're gonna do. Part, uh, bottom board over here. Got it kind of cleaned up, dusted off. Not gonna make it doesn't have to be perfect in order to paint it. I've knocked off anything on this box that just uh, was apparently, you know, it's already starting to flake off. Uh, you can see this is the box where I don't know if you can see this or not, but see all these little check marks on the inside of the wood. That is what wax moss will do to the inside of your box yeah, when they start to hang. This little box is just using the same paint I use on. I don't match them up, not, you don't have to, but I uh, got some just regular exterior paint. Um, I'll go around and start putting a good base coat on these things, and uh, really that's all it takes. You don't even have to paint them every year, uh, I wouldn't think, but uh, you can tell some of these just need a little bit of help. And that's what we're going to do, so I'll go around and get a base coat on each side of these. One good thick coat on here, uh, all the way around the box. Doesn't take hardly any time whatsoever. I'm just gonna go around it and kind of be a little bit thicker with everything all the way. I'm not trying to win an award. And then uh, maybe we'll put some B art on the front at the very end, just to make sure that the queens and the bees can, if I'm using it for queen rearing, that. Uh, they can find their way back. We don't want to lose them because they all look the same in the bee yard. So. I'm coming along with the bottom board now. Almost got it knocked out. So, um, one thing I read about was, uh, you know, you don't have to use a certain color for a beehive either. You can use anything you want. I mean, white stands to be a little bit more cool if you're in the south like I am. Uh, but you could paint it any color, any vibrant color. I did see where bees don't particularly see the color red. I'm sure they see some sort of hue of it, but uh, not like we would see it. So um, keep that in mind. Some people I've seen paint them a lot of different colors just simply to identify them differently. And like I draw the art on them, uh, I think they do that just to give the bees the ability to find a way back when they have a yard full of beehives. So I think that's always a good idea. But you put a lot into these bees, you don't want the queen to if she's out on a mating flight or something, you don't want her to come back after being mated and then fly in the wrong box. That would not go well for her, so. Okay, well I have finished putting the coats on these. Just finished up the top here. That's probably the toughest just because it's got an edge of that stainless. Uh, but uh, we're gonna let these dry and then I'll come back and do a little bit. Uh, it's been fully painted, so it's ready for a little bit of art to go on here, so we'll just do some little uh, flowers maybe something fun uh, with some something real serious something fast maybe some stuff at the bottom around the opening, flower up top,
something fun. All right, so that'll give the bees a little area to be able to come up, see what's going on. Uh, identify their little hive. And um, something fun on the front. Fixed all right, if you like, no time at all, kind of redone. Now it has a little scene on the front where the bees can identify it better. And um, didn't take much time at all, less than two hours.